So, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rakes here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my updated Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile for the December 2018 format. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And to be honest, guys, with the ban list taking into effect and with Firewall Dragon being banned, I really believe that decks like Blue Eyes may have a chance to actually shine in today's metagame. Overall, it depends on how you play the deck and how you adapt to certain situations and things like that. And I'll explain to you guys everything once I progress to the video. By the way, guys, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new holiday edition team Xamarin x1 dark magician girl playmat today uh this is the special holiday edition so it's basically dark magician girl with jack frost and also snowman eater and it's just a very cute christmasy theme mat so if you guys are host with the channel make sure you guys get this beautiful sexy dark magician girl playmat today i'll leave a link in the description box below to tx1.com start up with the monster real quick you're gonna play of course triple blue eyes white dragon you're playing a blue eyes based deck blue eyes is definitely mandatory and remember guys against the sky striker matchup blue eyes is actually a really good card because you know, cards Widow Anger cannot target uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon because Blue Eyes is not an effect monster. So your opponent can't even attempt to steal this card. And also at the same time, if your opponent were to try to afterburner this card in the Sky Striker matchup, you can just uh, protect your Blue Eyes with cards like Return of the Dragon Lord. So, you know, Triple Blue Eyes, definitely uh, mandatory to play uh, in this deck. Next off, you're going to play, of course, Triple Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Uh, this card is mandatory to play in the deck as well. You basically reveal Blue Eyes, uh, special with this card from your hand. It's a 3,000 beat stick with 2,500 defense. And it has an amazing ability where once per turn you can target one monster opponent controls and destroy it, but this card cannot attack and remember guys this card is uh, not a hard once per turn so if you can get multiple copies of this card on the board you can just activate its effect to pop multiple monsters on the field which is really good so blue eyes alternate white dragon and then last but not least for the blue eyes monster playing the deck is of course the one dragon spirit of white only one copy of this card is uh, more than enough in my opinion you can usually just bring out blue eyes white dragon directly from the deck off the stone anyways and it just minimizes yourself on actually breaking uh, more level eights and you know by playing one copy of this card it just minimizes yourself on actually breaking this so obviously i really believe that through all testing uh one copy of dragon spirit of white is enough to play in this specific version next off uh, for your tuners we'll play of course triple sage with eyes of blue you know very standard uh when this card is normal summon you basically get to search uh, either your white stone ancients or white stones of legends directly from your deck to your hand and at the same time you can activate this amazing ability in hand to target a monster you control on the board send out the graveyard especially with blue eyes directly from the deck which is really good so sage eyes of blue is really broken one of the best starter cards in the deck obviously the white stone of legend this card is actually a legend this card is so so good uh, gets your access to blue eyes directly from the next your hand and this card just overall helps you unbrick especially if you have trade ins in your hand without blue eyes you can just normal summon the white stone legend uh link it away for link crevo and then search blue eyes and then actively trade in and just get your uh, engine started so and last but not least uh triple the white stone of ancients cards are really good uh toolbox card uh you know you can banish this card from the graveyard to target a blue eyes uh, monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand uh which is really awesome so during late game you just recur back alternative white dragon or blue eyes from your graveyard which is really good it's obviously the one effect veiler you know this card gets you direct access to effect veiler directly from your deck to your hand so if you already have your stones in your hand you can just go sage search your hand trap which is really good and then last but not least you know double ash blossom enjoy spring uh, to run off your main deck. Uh, that's all the monsters you're playing in the deck. Ash Blossom is obviously uh, one of the best monsters, uh, one of the best hand traps in today's meta game to actually help you uh, counter today's meta against almost every single deck in the game. So uh, that's pretty much it for the main deck, guys. And remember, it all depends on how you play with this deck. You know, it's, you you got to be very patient uh, in some matchups. You have to uh, calculate your moves correctly. And I actually learned a lot about this deck by you know communicating with Alan a lot. Uh, whenever I do deck profiles, he always says that this deck, uh, you know, the deck is always great. But it always depends on what's in your hand and it always depends on how you play the deck so you know against sash record matchup you can have an edge uh, you know if you're very skillful with the deck you know learning when to properly tag out with dragon spirit of white or when to properly protect your blue eyes from the graveyard it all depends on your moves and you have to calculate your moves correctly uh to actually be able to play this deck on a competitive level uh so that's pretty much for the monsters let's go off into your spells all right guys for your spell cards your starter cards obviously triple melody of the awakening dragons this card searches your blue eyes and also alternative uh directly from your deck to your hand and also ditching the stones to the graveyard gives you an instant plus which is really good and i want to try to make my deck as insistent as possible so alongside melody i'm playing double bingo machine i see a lot of people you know not playing this card and i remember guys bingo machine can search your um the ultimate creature of destruction next turn to play of course uh the one dragon shrine these cards are all search cards in the deck because dragon shrine can just you know dump the blue eyes to the grave and then you can just dump the white uh, uh the white stone legend and then the white stone legend can just search you blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand so dragon shrine is really good so if you don't have lingo machine just take out the two bingo machine and maybe add in a foolish burial and also another dragon shrine uh to just basically maximize the consistency in this deck so and that's pretty much it for all the surge cards that i'm playing uh, in the deck next off for your draw cards we're gonna play of course triple trade in 
Uh, there's one deck profile that I saw on YouTube where someone played two copies of Trident, and I really believe that's the most incorrect thing, especially in Blue Eyes. Your whole deck is level eight, your whole deck search is level eight, and you're always gonna have level eights in your hand, so I don't understand why somebody would play ever two Trident. So this card, guys, it's a three of 135,000%. So trading is an absolute must in this deck. Uh, one card is Continent. So I really believe this card is interesting. Uh, you know, summon Sage, Shirts, sure, the White Stone Legend. Uh, you know, set, uh, act the card of Continence. You know, just like the card says, to send uh, the White Stone uh, Legend to the graveyard. Draw two cards and then search Blue Eyes. It's just really, really good. It's a card of Continence. I believe it's just really broken. And, um, just trying this card out and it works really well. I think one copy of this card is enough. And then uh, obviously the one pot of desires. I, I am only a fan of one pot of desires in this deck. I would uh, I would play two, but you know I took out the second desires for the cards of consonants, and it's been working really fine. Very consistent cards. They actually help your engine going, uh, which is really good. Next off for your uh, monster reborn cards, triple return of the dragon lords. Obviously, revise back your uh, blue eyes from the graveyard. At the same time, Hakshi helps you play around afterburner. So your point with the afterburner, you try to get rid of your floodgate and just you know banish return of dragon lords to protect your monster. So that way that afterburner can fizzle which is really good uh one silver's cry a really powerful card especially with the uh, dragon spirit of white on your opponent's turn just flip silver's cry all right uh you know target uh when you know multi-row and then they just lose so silver's cry is just really broken uh you won game charge you activate this card and you automatically win the duel card is absolutely broken blue eyes uh one monster reborn a really powerful card as well and that's pretty much it for all your revival cards uh, in the deck, very standard to play in the deck. Next off, your traps, double ultimate creature of destruction. This card basically makes your blue eyes white dragon indestructible. And whenever you use normal summon or special summon a blue eyes white dragon, you basically get to reset this card uh, from the graveyard. So it acts like a lost win effect. This card makes your blue eyes white dragon become uh, unbeatable. So to recap its effect, target one blue eyes monster you control, just turn that face of monster. It's unaffected by card effects except its own. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, any opponent monster it battles is destroyed at the end of the damage step. So. Card is really broken. Makes blue eyes indestructible. More trap cards. You want skill drain. You flip this card. You win the duel. You're not losing the duel when you flip skill drain. Card is really good. And last but not least, guys, for the meta, triple goals in match. If you guys uh, watch the channel a lot, whenever I play decks like this, uh, especially lower tier decks, well, you know, blue eyes is obviously not that lower of a tier, uh, but it's still not, you know, obviously tier one. If you're trying to play this deck, you have to adjust to the meta. And obviously, playing goals and matches. You know, one of the greatest meta calls in today's format. Uh, you know, really good against strikers, really good against thunder dragons. They, they can only summon either light or dark, uh, which is really good. Uh, obviously, you know, with, with, uh, really great against alter guys as well. So, goals and match is absolutely broken against those specific matchups. You guys see my, you know, photon deck profile and also my cyber dragon deck profile. I'm a fan of playing uh, floodgates in this deck. They're really good going first, and they're also really good going second. So, I really believe that this card is just like an overall board wipe going second. And also, it's just like a really good control card going first. So goals and match is absolutely broken in this deck. And if you want to play this deck on a competitive level, you have to adjust in today's meta game. You have to adjust into the format and how the format is shaped up. And playing goals and match is just a really good meta call in my opinion. So that's pretty much for the main deck. Uh, exactly 40 card in the main. All right, guys, for your extra deck, you know, double blue eyes, spear dragon, obviously very standard. Zero eyes, one black rose, moonlight dragon, really good against Colossus and also Titan. Moon Rose is broken, so you just go this tag. Uh, you go into this uh, tag out for Moon Rose, bounce back Colossus to your opponent's hand. Card is broken. Start a Spark Dragon. Honestly, I might just cut Spark. Uh, start a Spark Dragon for a second. Moonlight. Moonlight is broken, guys. So so good. Uh, number 95 Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. Very good card. I remember, guys, this card's effect is a cost, so your opponent can't ash this card. So it's a cost to send to the graveyard, guys. Remember that. Uh, Cypher Blade Dragon. It's a Dryden. Uh, Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor. Uh, number 90 Galaxy Eyes, uh, Photon Lord. Uh, you know, the one Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Dragon. Uh, really powerful card as well. Number uh, 38 Hope Harbinger. Obviously, negating those spell guards. And then, guys, last but not least, for our links, we're gonna play, of course, the one Borlord Dragon. I actually found situations where I just go Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Dragon. Uh, steal a link to monster and then use cypher the link to and also another monster for the Borlo dragon uh, Which is a really good card a really good out to Colossus, which is really amazing uh, Hippo Shinigen, uh link Rebo, and then last but not least the underclock taker underclock taker is really important to play in this deck guys uh, This is how you OTK thunder dragons you basically make underclock taker and then make galaxy eyes uh, dark matter dragon uh, You know obviously under underclock taker at the underclock taker uh, target the dark matter uh, Yeah, your opponent's uh, Colossus will go into zero and then you can just go boom, boom, attack, and then it's game. You know what I mean? So Dark Matter Dragon is just really, really broken. All right, guys, off there, side deck. Side deck is just, you know, a really rough draft on what you guys can play. But obviously, uh, you know, Down Wrestler, Pankertrop's really broken. 
uh, triple goal soldier. These cards are really good against back row decks. Goal soldier is really good against, uh, you know, obviously a uh, multi faker. Really good against uh, sky striker, especially against multi row cards broken. Third ash blossom, you know, double infinite impermanence. Uh, triple evenly match. And last but not least, triple twin twister. Uh, to round off our side deck so that's pretty much it for the deck profile guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that'll be absolutely amazing if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys get your play mat today leave your comments in the comment section below uh, what your thoughts are about this deck and like i said before guys it depends on what's in your hand and it just depends on how you play and the pace you're playing with your deck this deck can beat any deck but it just depends on how you play the match and it's dependent and, and it just depends on how you uh, make the correct moves at the correct time so be mindful when you play this deck guys this deck is actually one of my favorite decks of all time and i learned so much by you know obviously just years and years of just rebuilding and just practicing with this deck and a huge shout out to alan as well he's a huge inspiration behind me playing this deck of course so yeah that's pretty much for this video hopefully you guys enjoy it this is your boy sam from team stars and sam signing out all right guys peace i feel like usain in the cheetah print talk fresh game i don't need a minute r.i.p the game Shh, i need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deal with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a keen with it. Like, no, no, this league business. Who you